Let's take a look at functions and determining where they are increasing and decreasing. And what we care about is as a function, as it goes from some x value to the right, so x is getting bigger, what happens to the curve itself? Does it go up or does it go down? So if the first derivative is greater than zero, that's what this is saying, then your function is increasing meaning as the x's get bigger, the y's get bigger. If that first derivative is negative, then your function is decreasing. And it makes sense, right? As x's get bigger, the y's are going up. As x's get bigger, the y's are going down when it's decreasing. And it is called where those two change, it is a critical value. So we're gonna do a lot of work with finding critical values or CVs. Take continue our graphical look at this. And so we have two different curves and we're trying to decide where these curves are increasing and decreasing. They're constant nowhere. In other words, there's no horizontal lines. And so we're only gonna have increasing and decreasing. I like to write out an um, bunny hop across. And so I write increasing and decreasing. Then I just follow the curve and write the intervals at which interesting things happen. This guy, let's go ahead and check those x values. This is at negative three. This point here, negative one. About 22. This guy here, three, about negative two. And then we have an endpoint and the endpoint is at five. Now remember, there's no arrows on the end of these, so they don't go forever if we're not using infinity. This function from here all the way up to this x value here, this function, the y values are getting larger, so it's increasing from negative three to negative one. Then the y values start decreasing, and they are decreasing from this x value all the way to three. So negative one, sorry, negative one all the way to three. Once it hits three, those y values start getting larger again. So they are increasing and that's from three to five. We have to use a union sign. And so why does it matter when we talk about the first derivative and what the slope of the tangent lines is? Is because here, all of the slope of the tangent lines on an increase in function all of these have positive slope and they're positive and they're less positive, less positive, less positive until it's zero. That's our critical value here. And then they have a negative slope. So the tangent lines are negative slope, which means the derivative is negative, negative, negative. And then it starts switching about halfway and becomes less and less and less till it's zero. And then they're positive slopes again over here. Let's take a look at this other one. So we're going to be increasing on some intervals and decreasing on some intervals. We look at the y's and we write the x's. And so we see the y values are coming down. All the slopes of the tangent lines are negative until it hits here where it's horizontal. That's going to be a critical value. Then the tangent lines have positive slope up here. So this critical value occurs when x is negative one. So this guy, again, we don't have arrows on the left and right. And so it is decreasing from negative five. That's a five. <laughs> negative five all the way to negative one. And it is increasing from negative one all the way up to about four. This is happening at about four. And then you're done because we only have one interval of each of those. Now we can take a look at a curve like we have here and all the points labeled, and we can see where the function is equal to, equal to zero, slopes of the tangent, negative, zero, positive, zero, negative, zero, positive. So we need to answer a number of questions and I think it's helpful to write down what each one means and then go find those values. 
And so when f of x is equal to 0, it's saying that the y values are 0. And where does that happen? That happens at a, and we go all the way over, it happens at g. So for this guy, it is just a and g. For the next one, f prime of x is equal to 0. That's the derivative, so the derivative is equal to 0. So the slope of the tangent is 0, which means you have a horizontal tangent line. All of that, that's, that's the, the mental process you go through. So where are horizontal tangent lines? There's one here at B, at D, and at F. So B, D, and F. F of X is positive. So this is where the y values are greater than zero. Greater than zero, this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis. Greater than zero is everybody up above that axis. And so who's above? The only guy above is h. So this guy is just h. f prime of x is positive. So this is the derivative is greater than zero which means the slope of the tangent line greater than zero, which also means we're looking for where it's increasing. Slope of the tangent line's positive. Here they're all negative. Here they're positive, so we're gonna pull off G, C rather. Negative, positive G and H. Next guy, f of x is negative. This is the y values are less than 0. So this is y's greater than 0. So that means the y's less than 0 happen down here. So what do we have all of the guys with y's less than 0? B, C, D, E, F. And then the last one, f prime is negative, and so that's the derivative less than zero, slope of the tangent lines are less than zero, so decreasing, right? So decreasing, where is this function decreasing? It's decreasing over here, increasing, decreasing here, increasing. So decreasing here where a is, and where E is. So for this last one, we get A and E. And that's it. Hope you're having a great day.